Okay, so I'm going to take a look at Nat by Mobile Montessori, and this is Animals of North America, Montessori Approach to Geography. And we've got three different lessons that we can um, complete, but let's go ahead and have a look at some information first, and we simply just do a basic math problem here. And it tells you all about the app. It tells you the information center, the habitat map, and the habitat map shapes only, and names and shapes, and so on. You can also uh, see their social side, and then, of course, all of the other amazing apps that they have produced over the years. So let's go ahead and have a look at this and start with Information Center and you'll basically run through 40 different types of animal along the top and to change from screen to screen you simply do this. If you want to pick a certain animal you just click on that animal and if you want to find out some information about them you click on the map and it shows you where that animal is located. You'll notice that the animal is surrounded by an uh, orange square and the image is orange and then orange on the map also and then the name down the bottom snow goose and they can find out some more info the snow goose is also known as the blue goose they have two color forms some being all white with black wing feathers and others being blue gray with a white colored head they breed in the arctic tundra and migrate to the warmer climates of the united states and mexico now you'll see down the bottom here, you've got like a lightning bolt and it says common. If you click the lightning bolt up here, it brings up conservation information. It tells you all about extinct, extinct in the wild, and so on. And you can see common is down here, which is widespread and abundant. So you can see how they're doing in the nature. Um, and to click out of that, you just click the bolt again. You can scroll through and look at some more animals. And again... Notice where they're located on the map. Obviously, noting where they are on the map is very, very important as you get to the third exercise in this app, which will require some uh, memory of the, uh, the color and the location compared to the name and the animal that you're looking at. Again, American alligator. You can pull up all the information. So you go through all 40 animals there. Uh, beautiful photos, of course, and they're all color-coded for where they're located. If we click the back button, we will come back to the home screen and let's go ahead and have a look at habitat map names and shapes so how this works is you have a map of North America and you'll notice that you've got the name of the animal up here American black bear and you've got the yellow area where that animal will be found within North America so you're looking for a yellow square on the sides and you're looking for the American black bear okay so I'm guessing it's this guy American black bear and he lives in that habitat and then you've got California condor. And you'll notice that it's orange, so we're looking for a condor, California, and orange. I'm going to go with California this one. condor. And we have Arctic fox. Arctic fox. Arctic fox. And you'll go through that with all 40 of the animals uh, until Rainbow you've completed trout. this. Once you complete these 20, it will go on to the next screen, and you'll complete those 20. And that's how that part works. Let's go back out and go on to the habitat map. Now this is where you will have needed to pay attention to where the animals are actually living. So for example, all we have now is a color, which is yellow, and we have an area on the map. Okay, and now we have to remember what animal was located in that area um, from the animals that we have on the side here. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot and see how well we do. And up here we've got, let's see, oh, it's blue, so it's light blue. Lake Trout. So you can see this is, this is quite hard at this level, but once you go through this app a few times, you'll start to get used to where the things are located. Um, so it becomes a little bit easier for you as you do that. But it's a great way of learning how to do that. That's Buffalo. And we have a dark blue one. Colorado River Toad. And we have a yellow one down here, which I'm not 100% sure of, but we'll see which one we can find. Obviously, if you don't, Antelope Jackrabbit. don't get it right, it won't appear on the map, uh, so it's no big problem. Alligator Snapping Turtle. And again, you'll go through this until you've completed all 40 of the animals. So you want to 
pay close attention to the beginning ones, the information center and the habitat map before you go onto the habitat map and the shapes only. But check it out, Animals of North America, Mobile Approach to Geography, and it's by Mobile Montessori.